In sections 10.1 and 10.2, we will look at area of parallelograms, triangles, trapezoids, rhombuses, and kites. The parts of a parallelogram. The base are any of its sides. The altitude is the perpendicular segment between the two bases. The height is the length of the altitude. The area of a rectangle is the product of its base and height. So remember, a rectangle has two bases and two heights, and also that opposite sides are congruent in a rectangle. The area of a parallelogram is the product of a base and the corresponding height. And remember, height is the altitude, or the perpendicular segment, between the two bases. In number one, we want to find the area of each figure. And in letter A, we notice we have a rectangle. We have a right angle in the figure, so that tells us that it is a rectangle. Remember, area of a rectangle is base times height. So area is going to be 9 centimeters times 5 centimeters. 9 times 5 is 45, and then centimeters times centimeters, centimeters squared. Make sure that you're labeling your area with your correct units. Okay, in letter B, we're looking for the area of the parallelogram. You notice that we have our base is marked 13, 4, and then the perpendicular segment, or the altitude, is drawn, however we do not know what the height of the parallelogram is. Um, so looking at the right triangle, our hypotenuse is 13 inches, remember opposite sides are congruent in a parallelogram, and we need to find the height first, so I'm just going to call it x. So if we know two of our three sides in a right triangle, remember we can use the Pythagorean theorem to find our third. So I can say 5 squared plus x squared equals 13 squared. So 25 plus x squared equals 169. Subtract 25, x squared equals 144. So that means my height is 12. So then I can mark this as 12 inches. So now we have our base and the corresponding height. Um, you may have also remembered that that is a Pythagorean triple in a right triangle of 5, 12, 13. So if you remembered that, you wouldn't need to use a Pythagorean theorem. But if not, you can always use the Pythagorean theorem. All right, so area of our parallelogram will be 4 inches times 12 inches. So our area is 48 inches squared. In number two, we want to find the missing dimensions. Letter A, we are looking for x, which is our base in the rectangle. So remember, area equals base times height. And then I'm going to plug in what I know. My area is 19. 0.5 feet squared. That's going to equal x is my base and then 6 feet is my height. So just divide both sides by 6 feet and we get 3.25 feet equals x. Okay, in letter B, we need to find the length of CF. So I'm just going to put an X there. And we have a parallelogram here. So the 12 inches is the height that corresponds with my base of 10 inches. So I am first going to find the area of my parallelogram. So remember, area base times height. So in this case, 10 inches times 12 inches. So the area of the parallelogram is 120 inches squared. 
So that tells me that if I used the base of 13 and my height, which is CF, they would need to also multiply to get 120. I'd need to get the same area. So to find CF, again, area equals base times height. We know our area is 120. We know our base is 13, but we don't know our height. So divide both sides by 13, and our height is about 9.2 inches, which tells me that side CF is 9.2 inches. Parts of a triangle. The base are any of its sides. The height is the perpendicular distance between the base and the vertex opposite the base. And you'll see you have two different types of triangles on the right and then with their heights drawn in. The area of a triangle is half the product of a base and its corresponding height. In number three, we want to find the area of triangle XYZ. So remember, area equals one half base times height. So area for this triangle will be one half times 30 centimeters times 13 centimeters. Now remember, order doesn't matter when we're multiplying. You could take half of 30 and then multiply that by 13, multiply 30 and 13, then take a half, or just go straight across. Either way, we get that area is equal to 195 centimeters squared. Parts of a trapezoid. The bases are the parallel sides. The height is the perpendicular distance between the two bases. The area of a trapezoid is half the product of the height and the sum of the bases. So notice that the sum of the bases is in parentheses. We will always have to do that operation first. The area of a kite or rhombus is half the product of the lengths of the diagonals. So we can say area equals one half d1 times d2. In number four, we want to find the area of the trapezoids. And in letter A, we have a trapezoid with bases 20 and 36 and height of 18. So remember our formula, area equals one half times the height times the sum of the two bases. So let's substitute in our values. So area equals one half times 18 inches times 20 inches plus 36 inches. So area equals one half times 18 inches times 56 inches. Okay, and then we can just multiply that straight across and we get that area equals 504 inches squared. Okay, in letter B we have a trapezoid with bases of 11 feet and 16 feet, um, but we do not know our height. Okay, We know that side BC is 13 feet, so if I make, if I'm going to draw in the perpendicular segment, which will also be our height, now I have a rectangle and a right triangle so that this angle at C is 60 degrees and the angle at B is 30 degrees. So I have a 30, 60, 90 triangle. 
All right, so 13 is side 2s. So that means that the small segment next to the 16 will be half of 13, or 6.5 feet. So then that means my height is 6.5 square root 3 feet. That's s square root 3, opposite the 60 degree angle. So now I have all my information. I have my two bases and I have my height. So remember, area equals 1 half times the height times the sum of your two bases. So area equals 1 half times 6.5 square root 3 times 11 plus 16. So area equals 1 half times 6.5 square root 3 times 27. Okay, and then we can just multiply that straight across. So take 1 half times 6.5 square root 3 times 27, and we're going to round that to the nearest foot, and we get 152 feet squared. Number five says, approximate the area of Arkansas by finding the area of the trapezoid shown. So we have all our information number five. We have our bases of 250 miles and 190 miles, and then our height of 242 miles. So remember, area equals one half times the height times the sum of the two bases. So area equals one half times 242 miles times 250 miles plus 190 miles. So area equals one half times 242 miles times 440 miles. And then if we multiply straight across, we find out that the area of Arkansas is about 53,240 miles squared. Number six, we want to find the area of kite WXYZ. So remember, area of a kite is 1 half times diagonal 1 times diagonal 2. So for number 6, we'll take 1 half times, now our 1 diagonal is 1 plus 4, so this diagonal here is 5 centimeters, and then times our other diagonal, 3 plus 3, or 6 centimeters. So then just multiplying straight across, we get that our area is 15 centimeters squared. And in number seven, we want to find the area of the rhombus. Okay, well only one of our diagonals is drawn here, and we know that diagonal is 24 feet. So I'm going to go ahead and draw in the other diagonal, so that would be from S to U. So that makes this side 12 and this side 12. And our diagonals, they're perpendicular bisectors. So actually, too, here's my right angle. I don't know the length of my other diagonal, but in a rhombus, all the sides are congruent. So I'm going to label that 13 feet. And if I have a right triangle where I know two of the three sides, I can use the Pythagorean theorem to find my third side. So I'll just call that for now x. So we can say that x squared plus 12 squared equals 13 squared. 
x squared plus 144 equals 169. Subtract 144, x squared equals 25, so that means x is 5. So this side's 5 feet, and so is this side. So that makes our whole other diagonal 10 feet. Um, with the 5 feet, you may have also remembered that that was a Pythagorean triple, a 5, 12, 13. If not, you can always use the Pythagorean theorem. All right, now let's go ahead and find our area of the rhombus. So area of the rhombus, same formula as a kite, 1 half diagonal 1 times diagonal 2. So area equals 1 half times 24 feet times 10 feet. Okay, we were given the 24 to begin with. We found that one side of our diagonal was 5 feet, the other side 5 feet, so that makes the whole diagonal SU 10 feet. Then multiplying straight across, we get that area equals 120 feet squared.